She is Julia in the heart of the city, amidst the flow of life's daily rhythm. Her laughter danced like music in the air. Her joy brought light to even the darkest corners. And I found myself drawn to her magnetic charm, like a moth to a flame. Every time she laughed, it was as if the world paused to listen. Her infectious energy infusing the surroundings with a sense of warmth and vitality. In her presence, even the mundane became magical, as if her laughter held the power to transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. In the soft light of dusk, I found myself captivated by your presence. At first, Julia was nothing more than a fleeting presence in my life, a face in the crowd that I barely noticed. Each time we went to Martina's house, driven by my father's legal matters, her father, Judge Del Valle, spoke in the study and I found myself left in her presence mere exchanges of pleasantries. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned to months, those brief encounters began to change. The girl was once just a face in the crowd without realizing. In that moment, as our eyes met, I knew for you, burned brighter than any star in the night sky. When I was young, before we began, I never thought we all had someone. I took your breath. You took the rest I promised you always A place on my chest There might come a day when you feel that I'm not who I was You might find a better one And then So I wrote our days on our kitchen table If you ever forget that you love me day. I thought you had left. No, my sister asked me to stay until they are ready to go. Will the judge be there? Yes. Mr. Salazar, I wish to congratulate you. For what? For your upcoming wedding. Are weddings interesting to you? When they are friends, yes. If I asked you, would you come? When's it going to be? May. May. Month of happiness, they say. If I ask you, would you come? If you ask me. Then I ask you. Then I will be there.
I wonder if she'll come to my wedding. I haven't seen her in so long, but her memory lingers like a shadow over everything. But what if she does come? What would I say to her? Seeing her again change anything? And then there's Esperanza. She's beautiful, kind, but so impulsive and loud. I love her, but sometimes I feel like I'm being swept along in a current that I can't control. Am I making the right choice by marrying her? Alfredo, are you listening? Well, what of it? Oh, she's not married to him. Ah, besides, she didn't talk of us. Nani practically brought her up. But we didn't know that she would turn out bad. You are very positive about her badness. Hmm, but you approve? Of what? Of what she did. No, I don't think that it is necessarily wicked. What are you talking about, Alfredo? You talk like an immoral man. I didn't know that you have this kind of thoughts. Ideas? My ideas? The only test I wish to conduct is a fair test. Am I hurting anybody? No. Then, my conscience is clear. Is this doubt a sign that my heart still belongs to Julie? I need to be sure. I am right. Living with the man to whom she is not married, but is that it? I may be wrong, and again, I may not. She has brought us this grace, Alfredo. She was ungrateful. The problem with you, Esperanza, is that you are. I can't marry Esperanza with these doubts in my mind. I need to find out where my heart truly lies. And there's one way to do that. I have to see Julia again. To understand my feelings once and for all. What if Julia doesn't feel the same way anymore? What if she's moved on? What if choosing her means losing everything I built with Esperanza? But then, can I truly marry Esperanza? When a part of me still belongs to Julia? Is it fair to her, to us, to live with this lingering doubt? My feet, they've brought me here. Maybe this is where I was meant to come all along. Did you ever have to choose between something that you want to do and something that you must do? No. I thought maybe you had such an experience. Then you could understand a man who was such in a situation. You 
unfortunate. Is this man sure of what you should do? I don't know, Julieta. Perhaps not. But there is a point where things escapes us and weigh us down. And we should let it go. But it don't matter. Then, it is foolish to ask whether one will or will not. Because it no longer depends on him. But then why? Why? Oh, what do I know? That is his problem after all. Doesn't it interest you? Why must it? I... I have to say goodbye now, Mr. Salazar. We are at the house. As I walk towards Alfredo, I feel a sense of peace washing over me. This moment, his choice, he is right. It's not the path I expected to take, but it's the one that leads to my happiness. I took your breath, but you took the rest. I promise to always a place on my chest. Loving Alfredo has also brought me joy, moments of happiness that I will cherish forever. His presence in my life made everything brighter, more beautiful. So I wrote our days on our kitchen. If you ever forget that you love me Alfredo, I choose to love you Not just today But every day from this moment forward Sometimes the love The love of your life Can make you feel weak too tired to fight But I'm trying my best Your happiness is my happiness Even if it means sacrificing my own But sometimes the love that you feel is just making it worse When I'm disappointing you So I left a note on our bathroom mirror If you ever forget that you love me As you begin your new chapter with Esperanza I will hold into the memories we shared the love that made my life richer and more beautiful. So I wrote it down on our kitchen table If you ever forget that you love me My heart may ache, I will always be thankful for the love to change me for the better. Julia. 
how could you keep something like this from me? Why didn't you tell me about your illness? I thought I knew you, but I was so blind to your pain. You sacrificed everything for me, didn't you? Even your own health. I should have been there for you, Julia. I should have held your hand, wiped away your tears, but I was too wrapped in happiness, in my own selfish desires, and now you're gone, and I can't even ask for your forgiveness. I'm so sorry, Julia. I'm so sorry. Cross baang cross jam ay Rex cross. Five, four. Tubang nama. Alah kau tutuan. Si Bri baiknya potnya mat ngotot.